Welcome to this tutorial in which I will show how to edit a model, a texture, as well as an animation for a unit in Battle for Middle Earth 2 for us the Witch King, mostly using Blender. I'm, uh, <coughs> I'm using version 202801, and prior to this tutorial, I've used Final Big to extract the .big files to get it to art and data in this folder to essentially make it more accessible. Using this modified shortcut that has the command line option dash mod, I can essentially run the game using this folder without compromising my installation. The only thing that I changed in my initial installation is that I deleted the movie files to skip them when I launched the game. So I'll be editing Rogash, whose files you can find under data. And I object evil faction units Angmar. So I'm going to copy paste this file as well as the arborescence. So data and I object evil faction units Angmar. And I'm going to reduce the build cost as well as the build time to zero. And now if I start the game, Rogash should be built instantly for free. Meanwhile, I'm going to launch Blender and your initial setup should look like something like this to delete the cube. In fact, I'm going to delete everything. And I'm going to edit the preferences and install the OpenSage add-on. Link in the description. W3D. Enable it. So Rogash is... Um, skeleton armature if you prefer and a uh, model should be found under art w3d ku which is where you find the angmar units oh by the way you can see that rogash is free and built instantly and here Rogash. So I'm going to copy paste those as well as one of its one of his animations. And I'm also going to copy this texture here. By the way, you can find uh, the skeleton and the model used by unit here. So the skeleton is the SKL file and the model is the SKM. Some models have um, additional models for different level of details. So I'm going to import Westwood and when you import the model, it's important that it's in the same it's in the same folder as the skeleton, the SKF file. And if you go to viewport shading, you should see Rogash properly displayed and textured because the texture is also in the same folder. So I'll be removing uh, the spikes. And the te I'll be also editing the texture. And because the DDS file format isn't the easiest to edit, I'm going to change it to a PNG first. And 
I'm going to modify it in paint. Beautiful. Save this masterpiece. And let's put it back to a DDS. As well as the TGA. I'm going to put a new name. So KU Rogash 2. And same for this one. KU Rogash 2. In my blend file, I'm going to the shading tab. And here I'm going to use the new texture, the TGA file, KU Rogash 2. Now I'm going to export, model, Westwood, hierarchical model, use existing skeleton, and do not take this. It's important that the file has a new name. So KU Gash 2 underscore SKN. And because um, the unit uses a different model, you will want to reference that in the ANI. Now we can close it. So we're going to copy those new files in our mod folder. So art W3D K U and let us copy the model as well as the skeleton for now. And we're also going to put our texture in. Textures, KU. Here you want to put the DDS as well as the TGA file. And we're going to create a new cache. So in this folder, put the asset cache builder. There's a, another asset tool, but it doesn't really run well on Windows 10, as far as some users and me can tell. So we're going to create this. You may have a problem with this, uh, with this um, library. Uh, in this case, just put it in this folder. So I'm going to start this, and we have our asset file created. It's important that before creating the asset, this is textures, but once that is done, you can rename it to compiled textures. <coughs> and now we should uh, be able to see the new model as well as the new texture of Rogash. So now I'm going to import the animation. And you can see that Rogash uses two hands to grab the sword. So I'm going to change that animation. on the skeleton, 
background, go to pose mode, control tab, select everything, control tab here as well. You can tell that there was probably a, a keyframe made here. So I'm going to edit this. Select everything, every bones, every channel, eye, all channels. And we can delete all of those keyframes as well as uh, yeah, all of those keyframes. So you can see that the three spikes have been removed. Now we're going to export it. File, export, Westwood. Change the mode to animation and same name, export. Now we're going to change this folder again textures create a new asset dot dat and change the folder name again to compiled textures and you should see that Rogash ha now has a new animation attack. Rogash uses three attacking animations. Uh, two of them are horizontal. One is left to right, one is right to left, and he has a vertical animation. And this is the one that we have changed. I'm going to put all the links in the description. And uh, if you want to reach out to me, you can uh, join some of the Discord channels and uh, you should find some assistance there. Maybe that was more obvious that the animation has changed from this angle. Right, you can tell that he uses only one hand for his vertical animation. So this concludes um, the tutorial. Again, if you have any questions, um, you can reach out to, to me on Discord. Have a good one. Bye.